Good evening, sisters and brothers. Greetings, dear people. This is Father Jason, assisting priest at St. Matthias Catholic Church in Rockwall, Texas, coming to you, as always, live in vivid color and stereo sound on this, the 26th of June, A.D. 2024, on the liturgical calendar we note today as the Wednesday of the 12th week of Ordinary Time. It's good to be with you all. This is the liturgy for evening prayer, also traditionally known as Vespers, and we will begin in just a moment after the chiming of the bell. If you are praying along with me, this evening's liturgy begins on page 573 in our Ordinary Time prayer book. Once again, this is the liturgy for Vespers, or evening prayer, and we will begin after the chiming of the the bell. Good evening. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. The day is now past and the evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. God of earthquake, wind, and fire, may we know you also in the voice of silence. Teach us the way of quiet, that we may find our peace in your presence, in the pattern of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. In lieu of a reflection this evening, I want to offer a preface, a uh, little um, um, bit of background on the evening hymn. Oh, gladsome light, that's the English translation, and it exists in various uh, textual and uh, lyrical and musical settings, all of them translated from the Greek phos hilaron, phos hilaron. This is the oldest hymn of the church outside of hymns that are mentioned in the Bible. This hymn has been sung or chanted every day somewhere in the world by Christians since at least the 200s AD. It might be even older than that. We first, uh, we have record of it first being mentioned in the third century, the 200s AD, which obviously means that it was known before that. How long before, we don't know. But again, this is the oldest extant hymn in the church, and it has been chanted or sung by Christians every day for 1,800 years. Phos hileron in English, O gladsome light, sometimes translated as hail gladdening light. Um, it is traditionally chanted or sung at Vespers, evening prayer. And it is traditionally sung as candles are lit at the beginning of the liturgy for evening prayer. It's sometimes therefore known as the candlelight hymn. Um, it is the first hymn 
of the church that we know of, as I said, but it's also an actual hymn in the modern sense, in the sense that it has specific rhythmic verses that equal one another in sort of syllabic length, which means we know that it was set to a specific tune. Um, it is a cherished, the singing of the Fos Hileron is a cherished tradition of the church, particularly uh, by the Eastern Orthodox Church. And um, it's a beautiful hymn. I'm going to offer it uh, now uh, in a, a, one of the traditional tunes that it's set to in the West, the tune Nunc Dimittis. So this is it. Oh, glad some light. Thanks for listening to that lengthy preview. Um, there will be no reflection this evening. This, my, my um, words here and the singing uh, will suffice. Oh, glad some light. Let me just pull up the, uh, the, the, uh, the lyrics. Thank you. Oh, glad some light, O oh, grace of God the Father's face, the eternal splendor wearing celestial holy blessed, our Savior Jesus Christ. Joyful in thine appearing. Now as day fadeth quite, We see the evening light, Our wanted him outpouring. Father of might unknown, Thee, His incarnate Son, And Holy Spirit adoring. To Thee of right belongs all praise of holy songs. O Son of God, life giver, Thee therefore, O Most High, The world doth glorify, And shall exalt forever. Amen. O oh, glad some light, the Fos Hileron. The portion of the Psalter appointed for this evening is Psalm 131. Lord, my heart is not proud, my eyes are not haughty. I don't concern myself with matters too great or too awesome for me to grasp. Instead, I have calmed and quieted myself like a weaned child who no longer cries for its mother's milk. Yes, like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord now and always. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. The reading appointed for this evening begins in the third verse of the second chapter of the first epistle of St. John the Apostle. We can be sure that we know God if we obey his commandments. If someone claims, I know God, but doesn't obey God's commandments, that person is a liar and is not living in the truth. But those who obey God's word truly show how completely they love him. This is how we know we are living in him. Those who say they live in God should live their lives as Jesus did. 
Here ends the reading. The canticle appointed for this evening is Salus et Gloria. Salvation and glory and power belong to our God, whose judgments are just and true. Praise our God, all you servants of God, you who fear him both small and great. The Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Let us rejoice and exult and give glory and homage. The marriage of the Lamb has come, and those and his bride has made herself ready. Happy are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. And now the intercessions. In the evening we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. Draw us to your heart, lead us in ways everlasting. Illumine us with your light, lead us in ways everlasting. Anchor us with your presence, lead us in ways everlasting. Gladden us with your just judgment, lead us in ways everlasting. Calm us with your rest, lead us in ways everlasting. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Concluding prayer. Gracious creator, you have formed us in the hidden womb of your creative power. Draw us out to be your holy people, walking in your everlasting ways now and forever. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for it is you who will redeem me, O Lord my God. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people, Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May God grant to us a quiet night and a peaceful death. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Now may the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.